How y'all doing today? It's your boy Eat Right Guy, and this video is going to be related to becoming a dietitian. And I had a subscriber email me a question, and so I'm going to read the email to you, and I'm going to answer it to the best of my abilities. And hopefully, this will help her out as well as anybody else that may be interested in this subject. And so her email reads as I'm not going to include her name. Uh, she's a student from India. The country India and she just passed her dietetics exam from I'm not gonna say the university and she's now pursuing her internship and she plans to work for NASA or the Indian Space Research Organization as a dietitian and the first thing I noticed was that in India it's the opposite of the United States she actually passed her dietetic exam first and now she's going into her internship but in the United States you do your internship first and then you take your exam and so she said that you might uh, not be known, but in 2022, India may launch a manned mission for the planet Mars. So she wants to be part of that research team. Um, so she can, uh, I guess, be part of the space inventory mission. And so that's pretty, that's a pretty unique field in dietetics. And me personally, I don't know anybody that works for NASA. That's probably a, a small niche that's a very specialized segment in dietetics but they definitely astronauts definitely need dietitians because they have to eat while they're in space and I'm pretty sure that their nutrition requirements are a lot different and so like I said I don't have any experience in that I don't know anybody I've done some research on that but I think for you the first thing you need to do is finish your internship and actually become a dietitian that should be the first thing and I noticed that with NASA, they're really big on research. And so I think it may be beneficial for you that once you finish school to maybe go into like graduate school and probably major in like food science or biochemistry because you're definitely going to have to have some experience in packaging food, um, knowing about different bacteria, probably a, a more thorough understanding of macro and micronutrients because you're probably going to have to be involved in producing new products that have a long shelf life so you may want to look into like food science i'm not sure if you took a lot of food science classes in your undergrad uh program but that's definitely probably something that you want um to be involved with and definitely research um i'm gonna link you down to a dietitian her name is barbara rice and she works for nasa in houston in the United States and I think Houston is the headquarters of NASA and so she has a biography it's like an article where she details how she got started in NASA and pretty much some of the things that she's done and some of the research her and her team have accomplished in uh, space nutrition so I think you're on the right track and also because it's such a niche field you may not um, get hired in that so don't get discouraged like once you finish your internship um, you may not be able to find a job in it initially so don't get discouraged if you don't just try to get um, try to get experience so if that means working in clinical or something like that you need to get some kind of a foundation and I definitely think you want to look into like research and going and getting your um, graduate degree because that to me I think that really stands out because I went on it I went on the internet and I looked at um, the Indian Space Research Organization's website and I looked at the career section and it seems like they hire a lot of scientists so even though you're a dietitian I think that's um, pretty much the category that they want you and they want you as a research dietitian that has a scientific background so like I said you're on the right track if you can, you may can start asking around. Um, I'm not sure who's going to be your um, program director for your internships, but usually those people have a lot of connections, and they and, and that whoever your program director is may know somebody that works for that company and can give you um, more of an insight. Because the best thing to do is to try to find somebody in that field to get their thoughts on it. But that's pretty much. Um, 
all the information that I can find and my advice. And like I said, I'm going to link, leave the description, leave in the description that link to that article of Barbara Rice, who is a dietitian in NASA. And she's been a, she's been a dietitian at NASA for 20 years. So that may help you out. And if you have any more questions, uh, you can email me again. I hope you found this video informative. Um, I know I couldn't give you a clear cut answer because I really I'm not really sure. I actually had to do research on my own. So, yeah, have a nice day.